Because thank you, new tonight at 6, we are investigating how Madison Metro Transit is handling complaints of bed bugs on buses. That's what 15 Investigates Elizabeth Wattis has been looking into after many of you reached out to us with concerns. Elizabeth, your new data from the city shows how long it took them to respond to bed bug complaints. Yeah, Mark, here's what I learned. So far this summer, the city has received 13 separate reports from employees and some passengers too, seeing bed bugs on themselves or on the buses. I also learned when a bed bug report comes into the city connected to the particular bus, the city quarantined the bus, pulled it from service and called the cleaning company either that very day or the day after. I also dug up the receipts from the cleaning company. It's Plunkett's. That's what the city uses for most of their buses. I found treatments cost for the city $70 per bus. And a lot of viewers were questioning why the city hasn't done an all fleet cleaning when reports come in. Metro leaders are sticking to this. They say the advice from experts is to treat each individual case, and that is what they will continue doing at this point. Since I started asking the city questions about your concerns, they actually started updating their website every day listing out the different reports of bed bugs and what they did to address the complaint, hoping to provide some transparency with workers and citizens. This is a story I will continue to follow up on. If you or someone you know has any concerns you want our Investigates team to look into, just send us a tip on our website. We will do that. For now, live in the studio, Elizabeth Wattis, 15 Investigates.